So you know how you can get those fancy colorful brackets inside of VS Code? Well, now you don't need an extension because it's built right in. Let me show you how. What's up everyone? My name is James Hugh Quick and I do weekly videos on web development related topics and I do a lot on VS Code. If you've checked out the channel, you've probably seen some VS Code videos, tips and tricks, favorite extensions, things like that in the past. And in this video, I'm gonna do the opposite of an extension, if that makes sense. I'm gonna show you something that was an extension or actually two different extensions and show you how now it's built into VS Code. And that is colorful paired matching brackets inside of VS Code. And the idea is as you open a curly brace, the matching curly brace will be a matching color and then other brackets and braces will match each other. Anyway, I think the best thing is to just dive into VS Code and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so I'm actually in uh, the source code for the rewrite of my personal website, which is moving to Next.js. I'm excited about that. Um, so this is what I'm talking about. See this, uh, see this open curly brace here? The matching curly brace is down here and it is in yellow. And then we have uh, this curly brace and this curly brace. Notice it gets highlighted and they're the same color. This curly brace is highlighted and it's the same color. So you have this uh, yellow, purple, pink. And I think this uh, changes based on the theme that you're using, which I am currently using the night owl theme. And I kind of change between several in, inside of VS Code. So what happens is previously, I would have two different extensions installed, rainbow brackets and or bracket pair colorizer. So I've actually got those up. Uh, bracket pair colorizer has 6 million downloads and rainbow brackets has about a 1 million download. So I guess uh, bracket pair colorizer has been the most popular. And uh, you can kind of tell I have uh, disabled rainbow brackets because you only need one. But let's go ahead. This is the first time I'm doing this. I'm going to uninstall both of these. Let's get rid of them completely. And I don't need to restart VS Code or anything. And actually, I do need to restart. So there's a reload required. Let's go ahead and reload that. And then uh, our code may look a lot more boring now. Yeah. So now we just get uh, these regularly uh, light colored uh, brackets. And now we want to enable this back in VS Code. So uh, I'll put a link to this in uh, the, show, or the show notes, not a podcast, in the description below for the YouTube video. And it's basically saying we've got one editing, uh, one editor setting, we, one editor setting we need to add here. And we can do this inside of the JSON file. I don't need my bookmarks tab. So if we go into settings in the top right, uh, you can click this button, which will get you to the JSON file. And then you can just paste this in. So these are all the different settings that are customized uh, by me. So these are my personal settings. So I'm gonna set this to true. So set uh, editor bracket pair colorization enabled to true. So let's save this. Let's come back to uh, data and I might need to run an update. So I'll do that and be right back. All right, now that I have this uh, update, notice that this actually recognizes the setting. And if I go back to the data page, I should have now my colored brackets are back, which is perfect. Um, and so inside of here, it actually mentions that it replaces bracket pair colorizer and fixes some performance issues with it. So this should be more performant, especially in big files um, and should just work other than that, just like you would expect. So this is from the August 2021 update. Again, I'll have a link to this. This is version 1.6. Uh, a few other features in here. If you have any features that you'd like me to cover or talk about or explain in VS Code, let me know in the comments below. Thanks as always for checking out the video. If you're interested, I have a cheat sheet on VS Code that I'll have a link to below as well. Thanks as always, did I say this, for watching the video and I'll catch you next time.